somebody out there today listening to the sound of my voice you're going to make it trust God and you will make it don't worry about your neighbors and what they have worry about what you have don't worry about your friends and what they're doing worry about what you are doing trust me if you put the work in you will receive it don't worry about validation you have to drive a car in order for people to like you if that's what you have to do for someone to like you then it's not worth it be you be a beacon of light be a ray of hope for somebody just don't sit there and expect to receive the same treatment that the man put out or the persons put out you have to go out there and put out your work so you can receive treatment that is equal to your level of work that you put out you can't want to buy a house when you only have an apartment money. You can't want to eat steak. When there's chicken on your plate. You have to rise up. If you want to eat steak. You have to go out there and get the steak money. But for now. Stick with your chicken. Don't take the last that you have. And go to a party. And spend it all out. Buy a bottle of Hennessy and throw it on the ground because you can and then tomorrow morning you're begging your neighbors for only and their skin and our time it's not worth it it's not worth it at all don't buy a sixty thousand dollar car when you know your budget is only three thousand you're paying a thousand dollars a month for car payment and your rent is twelve hundred dollars you can't afford that car Guys, if you're out there and you can hear the sound of my voice today, you should be grateful that you're one of those persons that's walking upright. Yes, I'm telling you, you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Everybody have greatness inside of them, but you have to reach down and touch your greatness you have to touch your greatness that change is gonna come only if you believe only if you believe then that change will come you don't need a big house you don't need a big car you don't need a steak dinner to see that change the change is already inside you you just have to reach deep down and touch that change. Don't take envy in your mind or in your heart because your neighbor or your friend have a new car. Don't go out there and get a new car because they have a new car and you want to keep up with them. It will never work. Sometimes you don't know how hard that neighbor worked to get that car. Sometimes you don't know how much money that neighbor put aside to buy that car. Don't worry about to take vacation when you know you can't afford it. Wait, your time will come. Believe in God. Trust God. And everything will fall right into place. If you're out there today, you can hear the sound of my voice. I am telling you, you are loved by God. You are loved. You're highly favored. You're here. You're here, you're walking upright. You are here, you're not living below ground. You are here. Make every single day count as it, as if it is your last day on this earth. Live, 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 live. Stop wasting time. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop holding yourself back. Stop putting limitation on yourself. Stop telling yourself you can do it. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ that strengthened you. 
be strong. Set goals for yourself. Accomplish them. Don't catch halfway into your goals and stop and say it's too hard. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy. But sometimes it's just the thought, the determination, the effort. That's what counts. You have to put that hours in. They have an old saying, the early bird catches the most worm. You can't want to catch worm at 7 o'clock in the night when, everybody already, when everyone is already out there from 6 a.m. in the morning. You have to get up while the sun is rising. Rise with the sun. Do the best you can do. Be the best that you can be. Just don't sit there and lay down asking God for help. God only help those who help themselves. God only help those who help themselves. Just don't sit there asking for handouts. Handouts just don't come like that. It comes with a price. Remember, every time you take something from someone, every time you take something from someone, remember, you hold that person a favor. So always remember, try to make it on your own. Try. You have to try. Don't give up. Don't give up. The race is not for the swift or the battle for the strong. But for who can endure to the end. Just don't sit down there and lay down and say, okay, you know what, if it happened, it'll happen. No, you have to make it happen. You have to get up. Brush yourself off. Tell yourself that, you know what, I can do this. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. You have to. I am telling you. I am telling you that you can do it. That car will come. That promotion will come. That new house will come. But in order for you to have anything, you have to work towards it. It's not over. It's not too late. You may not work all summer. Or you may not work all winter. But today is a new beginning. Let that new beginning count today. Family, take care of your family. They come first. Take care of your family. Take care of your kids. Take care of your spouse. Just don't sit down there and say, you know what God is going to provide. Go out there and hunt it. You have to go out there and hunt it. Money doesn't grow on tree. Don't waste it. They said the lover of money is the root of all evil. No. Money is good. Money is bad. You cannot go nowhere without money. But sometimes the lover of money, if you love it too much, then it become evil. But I'm encouraging you today. Somebody out there in this world. I am telling you, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep stroking. Tell yourself that I am somebody. I will be somebody. My grandma told me this when I was younger. Don't let no one shatter your dream. And today I'm going to tell you the same thing. Don't let nobody, anybody, shatter your dream. Only the best is good enough. So you have to go out there and do your best because that's the only thing that counts. When you go to work, do your job. Just don't sit there and say the boss is making the money, so I'm not going to work. Do your job. That's what you're getting paid for. Do your job. Don't criticize. Don't have hatred. Don't have envy in your heart. 
go out there and put your full hundred do whatever you gotta do to keep bread on your table do whatever you gotta do to feed your family do whatever you gotta do to protect your family do whatever it's gonna do to protect your health do whatever you're gonna do to protect anything that you love no one is gonna do it for you mother have father have god blessed child that have his own don't sit there and depend on your parents to help you all the time Go out there and do what you, whatever it is that you got to do. Don't fight for things that's not necessary. Don't fight for anything that doesn't have value to your life. Fight for things that matters, like your family, your religion. Fight for things that matters. Always remember this. If you didn't know it, now you're going to know. We all come into this world naked. And we all shall leave this world naked. When you die and you lay in that casket, you lay on your back and your back is naked. Your pocket is empty. Not even as much as $10. You're broke. You come with nothing, you go back with nothing. Have yet. To see a funeral when after they pronounce your body to the ground, someone bring a plate of food and put it on your grave and say, this is your food. Never. When your body is pronounced to the ground, the festivity belong, begins. After the festivity, everybody go home. Three months or two months later, your history. When someone ring up your name, then people will remember you. You will be gone. You will just be a pigment of somebody's imagination. Remember when I tell you, somebody's out there today, if you can hear my voice, don't give up. Stay strong. Be the best you can be. Reach for your goal. It's not too late. You can do it. Nothing can stop you from doing what is what is right or what is important that new car when you literally work for it and you can afford it that smell is gonna be magnificent that new house when you open that door and your kids or your family run inside the house and they, they choose their room you're gonna be oh my god it's all worth it that promotion when you get it you climb the ladder you're gonna be so high you're gonna look down say everything is gonna be so small but you're gonna pat yourself on the shoulder and say it was all worth it remember you can do it not because you're on your face now that means that you're gonna stay down there God doesn't give no one more than he can bear. If you're down there, find a way to roll over and get up. Don't stay down there and eat dirt because it's not necessary. God never make human beings to eat dirt. Catch and eat. That's what I've heard. So why are you eating dirt? Get up. Brush yourself off. Brush yourself off. Rise to that occasion. And be the best you can be. If you're out there today and you can hear my voice, this is for you. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. And if you can hand if you can render a hand or an assistance to somebody that need it, give it to them. As long as you can afford to lose it, give it to that person. Sometimes that what you do now is the result tomorrow. Help somebody if you can. Help a neighbor. Help a friend. Help a brother. Help a sister. Help a co-worker. Even help your enemy if you can. If they need it. Just don't sit there and harbor it up. For robbers and thieves. Help a sister if you can. Help a brother if you can. Right? Just don't sit there with it. Or just don't sit there with your riches and think that you're going to go to heaven and see the pearly gates with it. I promise you, you will not. I've never yet to see nobody bring their cars or their house with them when they're going in underneath the grave. You go there empty-handed. So if you can render an assistance, help somebody. Be a neighbor. Be a friend. 
be a brother, be a sister. You know, just don't sit there and say, oh, you know what? Nobody didn't give me a hand, so I'm not giving nobody a hand. That's wickedness and that's selfish. If you can render an assistance today, help somebody. Call a friend. Call a loved one. Call somebody you haven't talked to for years. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them something good. Because you don't know what tomorrow may bring. Nobody knows what tomorrow may bring. You don't know what the next 15 minutes will be. So I am telling you today, guys. Be the best you can be. Only the best is good enough. Please. Like. Share. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Put the post notification on so whenever I update a content, a content or I put up another content, you will be the first to hear it. And thank you so much and God bless you wherever you are. Out.